Hello there, kids of disaster. Strike at the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we had just come to Windhelm to more or less do Ul not Ulfric's, uh, Yalbargruf's challenge to Ulfric. Basically to see whether he's serious or not in bringing war to Whiterun's doorstep. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to challenge him in the old way. Good At least, you. according to them. No I've only just met you, motherfucker. What is that about who? Who's going to stop him? Me? I have no part of that. Fair enough. Talk to Aventus Arantino. Hmm. Sounds imperial. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. This'll work. There we go. Whew. Meridia despises undead in any form and is one of the few Daedric princes not considered to be wholly evil. <laughs> you come oh. here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, yep. you pollute our city what with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. It's a good maybe, point. Maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? What kind of backflips you make in there? Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Whoa, dude, that is creepy. Do you hate the Dark Elves? What? Are you uh, here to bully us and tell us to leave? I wasn't planning on it. I uh, don't hate your people. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Oh. Unworthy of one such as me. Well, it looked like the Nords were giving you some trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. Really? He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. I can tell. Why would anyone think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. Mm -hmm. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, well, that's rude. just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. That sucks. I'm Safe sorry. Safe travels. Safe travels to you as well. All right. Now I'm not feeling so bad about uh, siding with the Imperials. Jeez. Bunch of racists. God damn. That is unacceptable. Who the? Who is this guy? Traveler. Die, Lord God. I love what it the? when dinner won't right in my own. Uh. That was quick. Careful with that fire. I didn't do anything with the fire. Shut the hell up. Hooded black robes. I'll take those. <laughs> and leave his dumbass naked. <laughs> take that, motherfucker. All right. Whew. I just am over, I'm getting over a really bad stomach flu, or maybe worse, so if I seem out of it, I apologize. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, He's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. That's not necessary. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torik. Torik was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. 
If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Wolfling. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough would be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. All right then. Nice little monologue there. But you. Yes. Make it quick. I'm a busy man. I've brought a message from the Jarl of Is Whiterun. Is that so? I've been wondering when he'd come around. Are you sure oh. it's coming around? What's this? Yeah. Uh, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it, and tell him he should prepare to entertain visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. Yeah, I'd say so as well. We'll be seeing you soon. Sooner than you think. That's what you think. Alright. Now we're gonna get the fuck out of here. And head back to Whiterun, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna do. Alright. First I want to see if there's anything else of importance around here. Other than, you know, racists being racist. Racists being racist. I can't speak English. I am slurring my words even though I've been sick <laughs> for like several days now. It's been several days, but it's only come to a head today. Oh. Oh, dear. I, uh... That, that's not my business. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is head back to Whiterun like we planned to. Uh, there we go. Dragon's Reach. There we go. And then it's time for war. It's a good thing I got a... Lucia out of the city. Got her at home. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> My back's starting to act up. Ugh. Weirdly enough, it's not one to crack. Hmm. Oh well. Oh. That was weird. Must be loading in some other assets. For when it starts. <laughs> The insanity. No. <laughs> Alright. Come on, load it up. That'd be nice. It'd be nice if I saw I had something to read too. That way I could do something with my mouth. There we go. You know, like I'm supposed to. Uh I assume they're up on the second floor. Whoop. Well, who is this guy? Imperial soldier. Absurd that you can't 
heck of good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. Sure. You're, you're, uh, okay? <sighs> Take a moment to breathe, soldier. Yeah, but really quick. Sir. Breathe. The outer walls <laughs> are strong. These guys cannot figure out where to be standing. Catapults. catapults. Oh boy. Where did they get catapults? The city walls are already falling apart as it is. Oh boy. My scouts tell me they're loading them with fire. So, he wants to take my city. Walls intact. I'd say the so. Men will be fighting in flames. Mhm. Mm my men are fearless. It's the imperial milk drinkers I'm worried about. If you prefer, I can take my men and leave. No, uh, of course not. Just <laughs> don't let me down, Sidious. Change the tune right quick. To combat the flames. Yep. Already taken care of. You Imperials Smart. are efficient. I'll give you that. How long until they arrive? Sir. Not long. They're hiding in the countryside. Are they? What's he waiting for? Sir? What? Sir, they're on the move. They'll be at the gates at any moment. Oh. Why didn't you say so immediately? Well, he was trying to, Sir, dude. I tried. Sir, yeah, he did. Let's see what these storm cloaks are made of. The men are already gathering at the gates. Sounds good. Move Why it, are you sir. at the, Spread the chair? Go, go, go. Alrighty. Maybe and take them. Every miserable last one of them. Okay. You've returned Go. with my axe. I knew that would be his response. Yeah, unfortunately. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Tullius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Wow, these Let guys Elf are just... Try to make <laughs> they're running into everything. Forces. I'll okay. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. I'm sure he will. be with us all. All nine of them. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Do you not? The storm cloaks are here, in force. Get down to the front line. This is it. We must hold the city. Now move it. Okay. Meet with Legate Ricca. What? The heck just happened? Oh. That's what it is. Okay. And she's outside, I assume. I didn't realize she'd come here already. What the? Okay. That was weird. <laughs> and it's going to be pandemonium outside. I can guarantee that. Spell books can be purchased from the court wizard in the Jarl's palace. Now you show me stuff to read. Jeez. Good lord. Whew. Skyrim is in turmoil because the Stormcloaks believe their Nord way of life is at risk, while the Imperials. Uh, blah, 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 oh. That's not good. That was, that's the fog of war right here. Jeez. Time to start the crazy. Oh. Uh oh. Get our little, uh. Get our warship on there. And now we're ready to go. Wait, what shout do I have on? fire breath. That'll help. That'll help a lot. Run, you fools! Run! Should have been inside earlier. Head for the keep. Oh, jeez. What the hell are you people doing here? Run! Jesus! What's wrong with these people? They're gonna die! <laughs> Oh boy. This is gonna be a thing. Whoo, come on, let's get ready for war. Ah, uh, that was weak. <laughs> I'm half asleep. You cut me some slack here. Alright, and there's Ricca. This is an important day for the Empire and for the Legion. And oh for boy. all of Skyrim. This is the day we send a message to Ulfric Stormcloak and the Rebel Jarl to support him. Ah. But make no mistake. Okay. What we do here today, we do for Skyrim and her people. By cutting out for the all seas of, of this rebellion, we will make this country whole again. 
That is what we need to do. Everyone with me. For the Empire. For the Legion. For the Legion. Defend the barricades. Oh, that means I have to go around, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, that'll work. That'll knock off a good portion of them. <laughs> that it did. Holy crap, look at all of them. They're all dead. Oh, come on, Emmett. Get within the attack range for me, shit. Whoops, I am missing entirely. Thank God for my fire. Whew. Come on, damn it. There you go. Alright. There is a lot of attackers over here. There's that one's down. Down you go. Alright. <laughs> Gotta love the sounds of war. What's doing with the bow? Jeez. All right, we are getting a lot of them down. There we go. Down you go. Whew! They are actually hitting me a lot right now. Okay. There's a lot of them over here. <laughs> You're standing in fire, you idiot! Jeez. Alrighty. Down you go. And down you go. There we go. Alright. Oops. Come on. Let me just get over the fence, damn it. Doesn't want to let me do that. That was weird. Whew. That was really weird. There we go. We are down to 23 now. Whoops, that was almost a miss. That was almost a hit on him, I mean. That's what I meant. Ugh. And they are pretty much gone. Jeez. Die already. Jeez. Christ. Man, oh man, oh man. Whoops, that was not... Come on, damn it. It's so hard to hit them when they're moving like that. Down you go. Do you now? You're going to die anyway. There's that one. Down they go. And going to end you guys. <laughs> Leave the rest of them. Oh, you want to stay here, huh? There you go. Take that. <laughs> oh, I'm taking a little too much fun in this. All right. And reunification of Skyrim. I have to go back to Tullius for that. And let the bodies rot. I'm not going to pick anything up off of them because they don't really have that much to begin with. <sighs> Alright, let's talk with these guys now. Whoop. Revel in your victory here today. Even as the gods revel in your honor. They already sing of your valor and skill. The halls of Sovngarde are no doubt ringing with your praises. That in they are. In defeating these storm-cloaked traitors. <laughs> Someone's like really enthusiastic in the crowd. And the fullness of your hearts. The citizens of White Run are forever in your debt. All right. But Alfred will not stop here. No, he will continue to strike out against any true Nord who remains faithful to the Empire. Daddy will. He will continue to sow discord and chaos wherever he can. And so, we must, each one of us, continue to fight this insurrection, lest our fallen brothers have died for naught, lest our honor be lessened 
should we allow these bloodthirsty beasts to prowl our lands? Carry on, men. My gratitude and blessings go with you. Yeah! For the Empire! For the Empire! Huzzah! <laughs> hey, Thank y'all. Thank you for your role in all of this. You're it welcome. It would be my honor should you decide to make White run your home. Speak with Preventus. Alrighty. And make the necessary arrangements. We might do that. <laughs> I don't think I'll ask him about that quite yet. Uh, leave that for later. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Fair enough. As much as you have left of it. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. To decide whether or not you want to support me making more videos for you guys. Or not, it's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.